In this video, I'm going over the engineering notebook. So what is an engineering notebook? An engineering notebook is a book in which an engineer will formally document in chronological order all his or her work that is associated with a specific design project. Clear and detailed description of your design process, someone unfamiliar with your work could take over the project without additional information. So you want to document everything in your engineering notebook. Anything you think, any notes that you may need, um, anything that you learn, uh, put everything in your engineering notebook. Why keep an engineering notebook? An engineering notebook is recognized as a legal document that is used in patent activities to prove the origin of an idea that led to a solution, Prove when events or ideas occurred. Prove diligence in turning the idea into a solution. And prove when an idea became a working solution. Contents in your engineering notebook, you'll notice, follows the design process, discovering the problem, research, sketches with labels and descriptions, also known as an annotated sketch. Brainstorming, calculations, your daily thoughts and ideas, pictures, expert input, maybe their names, position, contact information, details of conversations, work session and meeting summaries, test procedures, results and conclusions, digital technical drawings and design modifications, everything you do think related to a specific design project needs to go in this engineering notebook. The engineering notebook sections, your title page, table of contents, general chronological entries, references, business expert contacts, all work is in pen, and that is blue or black ink pens. Not your pink, your purple, your green, has to be blue or black ink. Markers that bleed through the paper are not used. Pages are sequentially numbered in ink on the top outside edge because the notebooks need to be bound so that you cannot add pages and cannot remove pages from them. And I will give you an engineering notebook that already has uh, those pages numbered. Entries begin at the top of the page, working left to right and top to bottom. Do not leave blank space. If there is an extra space, draw an X or a line across it and then sign it at the bottom. All right, if you make a mistake, draw a line through it to never ever scribble through it. You need to still be able to read what the mistake the word was. And then enter the correct information after you've drawn a line through it and initial the change. Never erase or remove anything. And like I said, never ever scribble through it. So date each entry. The first thing you need to do whenever you get to the classroom and you get your engineering notebook out is date it. Put the new date of the new entries on there. Right, insert items are permanently attached. Glue is preferred. No loose leaf items. Sign your name so that it ex extends across both the notebook page and the inserted document. So just sign across it so that it goes uh, from the thing that you've pasted in um, onto the regular page. I sign and date each page before the next page is started. So when you finish a page, sign the bottom. There will be a signature, a place for your signature and your date. Then the next, the person next to you, maybe your teammate, your colleague, someone that's sitting there and has been seeing what you've been doing, can collaborate the events and facts on your page and sign as a witness. So you'll sign it, you'll pass it over to the person next to you, have them sign it before you move on to that next page. And then store your notebook in a safe location. Never leave it out. I have students that tend to like to hide those engineering notebooks if you leave them out. So make sure that you put them away in a safe location. All right, sketches. Label all parts on of the sketch. Describe each sketch. Also on this, remember those annotated sketches. Every time you sketch something, describe it, explain it, dimension it. All right, calculations and figures are clearly labeled.
All right, progress, uh, progress entries reflect on tasks accomplished, successes and failures, reflect on future needs and tasks to be completed. So every day when you write in your engineering notebook, you're going to want to write down what you did that day. Sketch it, take a picture of what you did that day, maybe how far you went. Notice on the page on the right that it is not just words, one sentence, what they did that day. They explain it, they have a picture drawn, or maybe you can use a camera, take a picture, print that picture, and paste it in there. But you're going to want to give some detail of what you did, your successes, your failures, um, and then reflect on what needs to be done the next day. Right, be neat, be accurate, be legible, and be thorough with these engineering notebooks. Here's an example of a historical page, a page from Earl Tupper's 1907 to 1983, his invention diary and sketchbook which is also his engineering notebook, Mr. Tupper developed a wide range of inventions, including Tupperware. There's another example, All right? Uh, Everett Brickley, 1888 to 1972, original design notes for an electromechanical flycatcher, 1943. Mr. Brickley developed dozens of inventions. His most lucrative invention was a bean sorting machine that separated good beans from bads. Here's another one, Howard Head, 1914 to 1991, original design for an oversized tennis racket in 1974. The larger racket more than doubled the sweet spot of the traditional racket. 